the developers of Unix wanted to make time simple. So they chose an arbitrary time and called it zero. For Unix, the time is the number of seconds since the start of 1970 in Greenwich, England. In Unity 3D scripting, we are using the more sophisticated date time object provided by .NET. Epoch time will often be used when interfacing with external systems or devices. Converting between time encodings is not complicated, but it makes sense to wrap it in a class for consistency. It involves converting from local time to UTC and the reverse, plus accounting for daylight saving. Okay, so how does Able help? Well, there is a clock class that wraps these conversions. As you can see, the class is extremely simple, but it helps us remember how to make things work. So let's look at how to use it. We will use a standard Unity edit mode test. So here is the .NET date time class and we'll use it to get the time for now. Here is the equivalent using the epoch time now function from able. We can also get epoch time from any date time. So what does this look like? As you can see, they are accurate to almost one hundredth of a second. But how about the conversion in the other direction? And we get the same time. Surprise, surprise.